Hello everyone, this is Joseph from Key One Review. Today it will just be me because Vincent is away, as we said in our last episode. But I just wanted to bring up something here today. Um, in the last episode of Super, we found out their strategy on what they are going to do to make sure that they win. And I just felt that the strategy was a little weak. That it was just a very generic strategy that the Supreme Kai, I guess, came up with. But it didn't really play to the strengths of this universe or these characters. Let me go a little bit deeper into that. So their plan for this um, tournament is to just make sure that they don't use up all their strength right away. And that if they are fighting to always have one more person than the other people do. So if they're fighting one person, there should be two people they are fighting. Or if they're fighting two people, there should be three. Now, I guess this is normally a good plan, but it doesn't really work with Frieza, Vegeta, and Goku. And these are their strongest people, and they don't fight as a team. They really haven't ever been known to really fight as a team. And did the Supreme Kai think that by just telling them to do this that they were going to? I mean, almost instantly, they just blow it off and say, Is that fair? No, this it won't go with my pride. We're not going to listen to this. And, Vegeta, and actually, what was funny is Frieza actually agreed with Vegeta, which I would never think that would ever happen. But they, um, they actually were in agreement with this. So I don't really like the strategy too much because... If they were going to come up with like a real strategy, I feel like they should have come up with more of a tactic of, okay, Goku, you're the strongest. So I know you're raring for a fight and you're just going to go out there anyways. So let's play to that. And Krillin, you're going to be his backup because we need somebody there who can maybe do this special technique that works very well with Goku. But they just don't have that team interaction. Now, I believe this is actually going to work pretty well for Tien and Master Roshi, or the androids and Krillin working together, doing abilities together, and actually probably doing some damage. Nobody really expects much from them, but actually I think they're going to probably knock out maybe more people than others, while Goku is just fighting Jiren, the strongest person there the whole time, and not actually knocking people out. Something else that was really shown was Piccolo and Gohan. They actually said, we're going to probably have to keep this together. And I really like that they're going to probably stay with Goku or stay with Vegeta so that they can actually be a team together because really the others I don't feel like will keep up with them if they just run out on their own. And I think also Vegeta might actually help people because when they mentioned Trunks and Boma, he actually started to listen to the strategy actually except for saying no there's no plan we're just going to go out there and fight the strongest people because that's normally his idea and his pride was always number one to him but once you mention Bulma and Trunks and his family he's not actually the same character anymore he actually cares about them probably more than almost anything now so he's willing to actually do the plan or fighting with others if it means that they are going to live. So I do like that character development for Vegeta there. Frieza definitely going to go out on his own. He's not going to listen to anybody. Um, he, I doubt that he's also going to help work with uh, Frost because they're just so traitorous people and so devious that they're not going to actually work together. And these are my predictions for um, this whole strategy and plan that they were trying to come up with for everybody. Um, like I said, I really wish uh, the Supreme Kai actually thought about this a little bit further, thinking about their individual characteristics and their in individual personalities. But um, they just decided, eh, we'll go with something generic. And, and I really don't feel like this is going to work, except for Piccolo and Gohan trying to make it work. Now, one other strategy that they do also have to think about, which Gohan, I hope, really comes up with an idea for this, is that there is no flying. This was a little curveball that they actually threw out there um, with the no flying. And actually, what was weird is that Whis seems to have known a little bit about this or has thought about that they were going to do this. 
but decided not to mention to anybody. It really is like a weas move to do, but also very mean if you're because your universe is going to be destroyed. I mean, obviously he's not going to be destroyed, but still, I think he should care about the universe and everybody a little bit to let them know. Oh yeah, this is going to happen. So they're going to have to come up with something because there is no flying, and it'll make things a little bit more interesting. But I feel like we're going to have to see how Universe Seven fares because they really just don't have the teamwork as, let's say, Universe Eleven, where I feel that they have the strongest person and also the strongest team because they actually work together. They are a team that knows each other's abilities. And I just feel like they're going to be very strong together, that their group is going to stay together, and they're not going to fall off the edge because they're there to help each other, unlike our universe. So it's going to be a very interesting battle. Um, I can't wait to see if there's any other curveballs that they're going to throw out there with the rules because it just seems like there's something new every single time, every episode that we just didn't know about before, and they just get told at the last minute. So it's going to be an interesting fl fight. Um, and it seems like next week it's going to finally start, so it's going to be very, very cool. Um, until next time, this is Key One Reviews. Thank you for watching.